Oh, welcome back my gardening friends. Well, it's a bit chilly and this is my last stand uh, against uh, a blight free uh, allotment uh, this year. Potatoes have been fine, uh, so are the tomatoes, but the weather has been absolutely awful. Just so unpredictable. We've had frosts having to scrape the ice off my car but my tomatoes are now naked and now they can get all the sunshine they can get hold of whether that be whether it's cold or not but I prefer to ripen my tomatoes on the vine so I think I'm about done I'll get these put onto the actual leaves put onto the compost bin because they are blight free. I feel I'm very lucky but good management uh, always helps. So as we uh, look along there there's just the cucumbers. Some of the leaves have been frosted but the tomatoes seem okay at the moment. These, uh, what are these? They're uh, very sweet, very sweet indeed. Excuse me, shan't eat the stalk. So, so nice. That celery hasn't been affected. That's just opened everything up and I've not been watering now for about three weeks but the uh, cherry black cherry are still splitting so I must remember to stop watering about six weeks before some of the fruit uh, is ready so if you've your tomatoes are splitting it's because uh, over watering uh, late in the season they don't need it they can ripen themselves on the vine but we can't do nothing about our outdoor tomatoes I've not noticed any splitting on the tomatoes that are growing there but these here as you can see these just need uh, taking off and uh, opening up what uh, we've still got uh, good But it won't be long before I'm slicing my favourite tomatoes up and potting them into a, a container and popping them into my fridge. But I'm also thinking about getting my favourite tomatoes and freezing them. What are your thoughts? They seem to grow <laughs> really well in the ground. Volunteers, even though we do get some harshish winters, so might do a little experiment but we're still getting quite a few uh, tomatoes uh, Babette uh, is still giving me her seed heads but she's looking very very sad sorry Babette for putting you through that the performer potato I need to do a reveal on that very soon to see if I'm going to enter a giant potato and I bet the worms are loving it under that fleece. I bet they're all migrating from the cardboard over to here. So I'm really happy with how things have gone in the polytunnel and outside. Uh, this is a hobby for me. Keeps my body and mind uh, focused, especially at this, uh, this time with the personal issues uh, we're going through. And a harvest is a bonus. Happy gardening to you all. Till next time, my friends. To ra for now. Look after your vegetables, and they'll look after you. <laughs>